Good afternoon, everyone. It is uh, Tuesday, and I have a tinker pr uh, project for us. I came across this and thought, oh, this would be fun. So what you need is a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. Uh, this was a toilet paper roll. Um, I've painted it. I used, um, I used a pizza box. Uh, to cut out some uh, fins. Uh, these are tail fins and what I did is I folded it in half and then uh, was able to trace it and that way both sides of my fins are the same. Okay so uh, after I did that I stapled it together okay with a staple three across uh, so that flattens it out and it connects the, uh, the fins. And then um, I cut out fins, like side fins, from uh, a piece of the paper towel roll. And what I'm going to do, uh, I've painted it all so it's dry. Um, and I have hot glue, but you can do this with regular glue. It just, you have to wait longer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little hot glue on there and I'm going to put my wing, my fin on this side of my fish. I'm going, ah! I'm going to put the other one. And be really careful if you are using a hot glue gun because obviously hot glue guns are super hot and the glue always, I always get burnt by the glue. But it's great stuff because it's instant and quick. Okay, so here is fish. Okay, I'm going to lower this a little bit. Okay, so there's my mouth. All right, and what we're making is a catch. Um, so we're gonna put a fly inside the, gold, the fish's mouth. Okay, so I got my fins. I have two black uh, circles, and those I'm going to make like big, giant, googly um, goldfish eyes. And I'm gonna put one, I'm gonna put each of those on the side of my on either side of my fish like this. Okay, I'm gonna put those. So now I have big googly big giant eyes and then I happen to get a package of googly eyes but if you don't have googly eyes you know how to make uh, eyes with a circle just a, a white circle and a little black dot or blue dot or a red dot or whatever color dot you want so I'm gonna put my googly eyes right in the center of that so now I have my googly-eyed fish. Okay, here's my fish. His giant mouth. Okay, and I'm going to use some... I'm going to use a little marker on here now that it's dry and kind of draw some fins. They're really light, but it's just enough to give it finny kind of look. I'm gonna draw some lines on there like that. And I know you can't see them, but they are there. Okay, and on here. All right, and then what you need is I have a piece of string, good sized piece of string. I've tied a knot on one side. The other side, I put a button because a button is heavy enough so it can swing and we can catch it. But I don't want just a button, so I want him to be catching a fly. So I've tied the string through two of the buttonholes, okay? And 
And these are going to be my little antenna on my bug. And I'm going to make a ladybug. So I have two red wings that I have cut out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those red wings onto my button so it makes a ladybug. So I'm going to put some glue on here. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to go like this. Like that. Okay. Like that. There's my bug. Okay, so now I have my bug and my antenna. And I'm going to use a black Sharpie. And I'm going to color the top of my button, which is sticking out just a little bit because the ladybug is, okay, black like that. Okay, there's my button. That's my string. And then I'm going to make my little ladybug dots or ladybird. I have these flying all over my house, my farm right now. They are hatching every time the sun comes out. They are all over upstairs. There you go. So there's my ladybug. Okay, now we have one more thing. And what I'm going to do is I need to, I'm gonna use a, a pencil. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put some glue inside. Okay. And then I am going to put this in here all the way down in. And I'm going to give it a squeeze to make sure it's in there. I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna poke it just to make sure it is all the way in. Okay. All right. And, okay, so my button is all the way in and probably I should have uh, stapled the string. That's what I would suggest. I would suggest stapling the string with the knot on it inside before you put your fins on and then it would be totally in there um but the hot glue will work inside is hot glue and i made sure that it is good and stuck i'm gonna let it uh dry but then what you're going to do is you hold on to your fish and give it a little swirl and try to catch, I've never been good at this game. It's momentum, it's trajectory, it's almost. And see if I can catch my bug. Let's see, ah, I got it. All right, there you go guys, let's end on that because I got the bug. I seriously never, never get that. Okay, so ladybug on a button, on a string, toilet paper roll, paper towel roll, some googly eyes, paint, fins, a little hot glue, or if you use regular glue, it just takes longer. Uh, you don't even have to do a fish. You could do a different kind of animal if you wanted. But tinker around with this. It is a really fun thing, and you can, you can get really good at this game. All right. Happy creating. Have fun tinkering. Hugs, Miss Amy.